We do want to get you a little bit more on the testimony uh, that we've been hearing out of Los Angeles. More coming today in the manslaughter trial of Michael Jackson's doctor. He took basically what you could call a verbal beating on Wednesday. As CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy reports, prosecutors say Dr. Conrad Murray didn't have a clue what to do on the day that Jackson died. Were you asked to call 911? No, sir. Members of the pop star's inner circle described a chaotic scene in Michael Jackson's bedroom the day he died. Dr. Conrad Murray hunched over Jackson on the floor while his distraught children looked on. Paris was on the ground, uh, balled up crying, and Prince was just, he was standing there, and he was just, you know, he just had a real shock, you know, just slowly crying. Dr. Murray asked the question, does anyone know CPR? I think what the prosecution is trying to create in this jury is a sense that this is a doctor who had absolutely no idea what he was doing. It's an emotional setting. The children are on the ground. They're crying. Dr. Murray's sweating. He doesn't call 911. Once Dr. Murray got to the hospital, there was no evidence he told anyone that Jackson might have overdosed on the powerful anesthetic propofol. What he did say, according to witnesses, was odd. What did he ask? He said he was hungry. Uh, he hadn't eaten all day or all night, something to that effect. Uh, and he wanted a ride to get some food. He sat there in a waiting room rather than banging on the doors and telling the hospital personnel and the life-saving doctors who were working on Michael Jackson exactly what Michael Jackson had in his system. Dr. Murray told me repeatedly that Michael Jackson was perfectly healthy. According to a lawyer connected to Jackson's canceled tour, Dr. Murray wanted an additional physician and a CPR machine on hand once those concerts began. Evidence observers say that he may have known his propofol regimen was dangerous. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.